Stopping our news, community members and families are calling for help after a weekend of gun violence across our city. The family of one of two women shot and killed in the College Hill Courts area on Saturday are speaking out this evening. Reporter Travis Cummings joins us live now with more from them. Travis. Hey, David, many of these families are hurting right now. Two of the people killed over the weekend were just 21 years old. The other 37 was a mother of six. Those connected to them, the people they leave behind, say they want this endless, this senseless killing to come to an end. Now, I see it on the news and never thought that I would be living this reality. Yvette and Kendrick Hughes's pain is felt by many families after a weekend of gun violence in Chattanooga. We devastated right now. Devastated. Their oldest, 21-year-old Kaniqua, died Saturday. She was one of seven women shot in the College Hill Courts on Grove Street. She graduated. She uh, went and got her Barbers of Cosmetology license uh, for hair braiding, and uh, she was pursuing her career full out. They just shooting pointless and blindly. This affected everybody's family except theirs. The Chattanooga Police Department reports 97 people 21 and under were victims of gun violence in the last two years. 46 of those victims were killed. We just need for the community, our council people, the mayor, everybody just step in and help us end this. We took the topic to Mayor Tim Kelly's office to see how the city plans to address crime and gun violence. Uh, whenever uh, neighbors gather uh, to, to celebrate and to enjoy each other's company, enjoy a beautiful night, they should not have to worry about bullets flying. Chief Policy Officer Joda Tom Napnua says accountability is only one part. Then looking at implementing a team of social workers to address 911 calls, more problem-oriented policing, and letting research lead the way for how to use American rescue dollars through violence interruption initiatives. Job uh, um, training programs for teenagers and young people uh, to um, other kinds of services like uh, family health navigators, uh, child support services, those kinds of things. As law enforcement works to catch those responsible, these families that are grieving hope that everyone will do their part. It's, it's just been going on too long. And there's a couple of ways you, the community, can help out to address some of these issues, the crime, the gun violence. The first way is by contacting the city. You can email policy at chattanooga.gov to send in some ideas. And then if you know anything about this Grove Street shooting, you can send some information uh, to the Chattanooga Police Department's tip line. Uh, that number is at the bottom of your screen, or you could submit it via their app, and you can remain anonymous. Live in Chattanooga, Travis Cummings, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.